Now it appears that perhaps His Royal Highness Prince William, the Prince of Wales, is becoming rather stubborn, something that's been accused by his father, of course, His Majesty the King, King Charles III. But what is it about? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you, as ever. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, this is Buckingham Palace. No, it's not a green screen. And I've just met a lovely couple from Ohio called Leslie and James. They've spent 15 days up in Scotland. Oh, yes. And they said it was even sunny there. I said, what a wonderful place Scotland is. They totally adored it. Lovely to meet James and Leslie from Ohio. And as ever, it's lovely when I'm out and about filming on the streets to meet all of you wonderful people that say you enjoy uh, our show so much. It is our community, our chums. But seriously, it's lovely to see you because it's a bit like the Norma Desmond thing. You know, you're out there in the dark, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, back as ever to your breaking world story of the day. This story, as I say, is gaining a lot of traction because it is a rather serious one as we saw this time last year I think remember when Catherine the Princess of Wales was out and about and got pulled in by that um, uh, very shall we say fervent uh, fan who wanted a picture with her her selfie this is the 21st century people want pictures and that's the deal you know but it's really difficult particularly when you're senior members of the British monarchy when you think about our late monarch you know nobody ever pulled her in for a selfie did they Princess Anne you wouldn't dare would you but more importantly now it's the thing that people want and in order to become relatable and more importantly you know get that media sort of profile out there the royals are having to continue to do this but is it wise according to a very well-placed source this particular incident with none other than the prince of wales in bournemouth recently caused a lot of concern this is because of course when you think about it security elements just look how close these people are to the prince of wales Yes, there's security around him, as they pointed out, but not enough security to secure the fact that if something really was to take off, how hard it would be to extract him. Yes, they do checks on the crowd, but in this, you know, sort of difficult age now, crowds gather incredibly quickly. But according to that well-placed source, the Prince of Wales will have none of it. He believes that this is the way forward as a more modern monarchy. As we've seen with His Majesty the King, he likely also does the same, or rather less, but nonetheless will do pictures if requested. But now this is the bigger problem for the security teams around, not just royal palaces, but of course senior members of the British monarchy. Now for now, they're sort of trying to play it by ear, obviously play the cards, etc. But it would only take something dramatically to go wrong with any member of the senior monarchy then this would simply be banned now when you consider the problems that we've had in the past with a lot of crazed people including let's not forget in the 1980s the man who climbed into the buckingham palace behind me and sat on the queen's bed you can understand why royal security is very concerned neil sean in the very heart of london buckingham palace